Hi traders, my name is Duncan Cooper and I'm the Senior Market Strategist and Trading Manager at ACY Securities. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the key trading levels for the week ahead for the pairs the Australian dollar to the Japanese yen, the Australian dollar to the US dollar, the euro to the Japanese yen, the euro to the US dollar, the pound to the Japanese yen, and the pound to the US dollar. So let's get into the first pair. Hi traders, first pair up to review is the Aussie to the Japanese yen. Now, in my review today, I'm going to be working on the daily charts. And what I've done is I've drawn in my monthly, weekly, and daily levels that I'm watching. And all those levels are in the description below, so you can reference them if you want to put them on your own charts. But I'm just going to talk about the key ones that I'm looking at as the market might unfold next week. All right, so Aussie yen first up. So what we've been seeing is last week, we were pretty much contained between weekly support, which is 82.01. That's coming from this high over here. This was Monday's trading and we traded up and was held at daily resistance at 82.96. So really held between 82 and 83. So I'm just gonna get my drawing tool. So the week ahead, what I may be anticipating is we are seeing a lower top maybe forming here and we've closed back below 82.96. So price might come up back up to 82.96 and hold for a further opportunity to sell down. But what I'm expecting is that price will probably move down now to retest weekly support at 8201. Uh, if that level can break, then I'm anticipating price may move down to challenge the weekly level of support at 8036. Of course, though, if 8201 holds a support, there might be an opportunity to buy there to trade once more back up to 8296 resistance. Okay, so that's potentially what, what could happen. We've got the Ukraine situation at the moment. If the uh, general news is negative, uh, I'm expecting a break of 8201, okay, to the downside. So that's the Aussie to the Japanese yen. Okay, the next pair is the Aussie to the US dollar. Again, day chart. So last week, this is where price action started last week. Uh, we were getting support or found support at the weekly support level at 7106 coming from this low over here and then we moved up and challenged weekly resistance at 7170 did trade through for a while but by the end of the week we closed back onto that resistance level at 7170 so it does look like we're maybe putting in a lower top so getting my drawing tool now for the week ahead if we are putting in a lower top I'm anticipating that price might want to move below 7170. That becomes resistance, might see an intraday opportunity to sell down from 7170. So look for 7170 to become resistance for then a move down and challenging once again 7106 weekly support. Again, if the news is bad from Ukraine, we may well, may well see that level break for a move down and we could actually move down and challenge monthly weekly support at 69.91. Of course, if things just keep range bound for the Aussie, we may just be holding between weekly resistance at 71.70 down to weekly support at 71.06. So there might just be a range bound environment and you're just moving up and down between the range, okay? So the key levels on the Aussie to US dollar at the moment our weekly support at 7106 and weekly resistance at 7170. Okay, watch those levels for intraday trades to the upside or the downside. Okay, so the next pair is the euro yen. And last week uh, we started here and we found support, uh, daily support at 130.15. And then halfway through the week we ride it all the way back up to weekly resistance 131.59 put in a nice rejection and reversed all the way back down to daily support again. So again, my drawing tool, there's a few scenarios that we could see this week. Uh, I guess the first one would be that 131.15 breaks and we just continue the downtrend. We challenge 129.23 daily support. Uh, that could hold for a while and often in today, opportunity to trade back up. But if the Ukraine news is negative for the week, I'm anticipating that we're going to possibly move down and challenge weekly support down here at 128.24. Of course, if 129.23 holds, then we could move back up to 130.15. Now, at the start of the week, 
obviously we're starting on this level of day support now price could stay range bound uh, we could see an opportunity to buy at this level intraday to trade all the way back up to weekly resistance and that could hold and then we could trade all the way back down to day support so a few scenarios that could happen so watch those levels intraday if they start to hold uh, trade back the other way but the key levels to watch are in terms of resistance 131.59 expect that to hold once more if, it, if we rally back up and then the question is does daily 132.15 support hold or can that break for a further move down down the range to challenge weekly support at 128.24 okay so that's the euro yen okay so the euro, euro US dollar and what I've been seeing over the last couple of weeks is a triple top forming at weekly resistance 114.82 so again get my drawing tool on so obviously we've been failing up here and then we started the week by moving down and challenging day support at 112.72 and then rally back up and 113.86 old support became new resistance and we failed there and we're kind of sitting in the middle of the range so I'm anticipating this is a lower top forming for a continued downtrend so I'm anticipating that we're going to move down to challenge daily support 112.72 and if things do get negative in Ukraine we could see then a further move down to challenge weekly support at 112.21 further weekly support at 111.86 and if things get really bad even the third lower level of weekly support at 111.21 Okay, now of course we could stay range bound here, so you need to monitor 112.72. If that acts as support intraday, we could well move into a range bound environment and trade all the way back up to 113.86. If that occurs, watch that level to act as resistance again, and that might offer a trade down back to retest daily support at 112.72. Okay, so that's your euro, US dollar. Okay, traders, on to the pound yen now. And the pound yen for a while now has been rolling back up and it's in a monthly resistance area. And the monthly resistance levels, if you want to put them on your charts, are at 156.07. That's this level here. 156.59. That's that level there. And then the one at the top, 158.21. So we're in an area of monthly resistance. And within it, we've been forming weekly resistance. And now we've got daily resistance formed here at 156.90 and a little bit below here day support form so there's lots of support and resistance in this area but notably we are in a, a very strong area of monthly resistance and possibly up here a week ago we formed a triple top so looking at that pattern my obvious idea would be that price may want to move down the range now so getting my drawing tool closing Friday we had a very negative candle here uh, it tried to move above daily resistance here at 156.90 I uh, did get above for a while but the last three candles have been holding there so into the new week if we do move back up I'm expecting 156.90 to hold as resistance so if we did move back up look for an intraday opportunity to trade down from that level what I'm anticipating through the course of the week is that we will potentially move below 156.07 monthly resistance support here and then intraday through the course of the week can we see an opportunity for a rally that holds as resistance to trade down break daily support and then trade down uh, for a test of weekly support at 152.84 okay with the ukraine negative environment if it does become very negative the pound yen could easily move down very strongly and challenge 152.84 weekly support this week Okay, so that's the pound yen. All right, last pair for the week, pound US dollar, as we're looking out towards what's going to happen during the trading week. I've got my weekly levels in and my daily levels in here. So I've got weekly support drawn in at 133.57, resistance at 137.48, and then these two other lines, this daily resistance here at 136.27, and support at 134.90. So over the last week, We've been just trading between consolidation, been like that for a couple of weeks now. So 
we came back down to 134.90 daily support that's held and obviously we traded back up Friday we've rejected 136.27 daily resistance so I'm just anticipating that we will move back down okay of course if we get negative Ukraine news as I've been discussing then we might break out of the range and maybe move down to weekly support here at 133.57 all right so range bound environment until we're not so just look for opportunities to trade down from resistance and then when we get to support if you see that holding intraday look for an opportunity to buy to trade back up to resistance of course if price action gets very negative look to trade a break of 134.90 down to challenging weekly support okay okay traders those are the key levels for the trading week if you're in the telegram service then i will be giving you an update through the trading week on the levels that i am watching so thanks for watching and have a great trading week ahead now if you'd like to follow my forex trading analysis throughout the week why not subscribe to the acy securities live interactive trading feed telegram channel Simply contact Nathan Bray at acy.com to get access.